So this question starts off by providing us with this equation here. It goes on to say in the given equation, A and B are positive constants. Let's keep that in mind. They're not negative. They're positive constants. The product of the solutions to the given equation is KAB. So once we solve this, we'll have multiple, we'll have two solutions actually. And then we multiply those two solutions together. It should be equal to KAB, where K is a constant. And then we're asked to find what is the value of K. So I'm going to start off by simplifying. So I'm going to use my simplify strategy, which just says anytime you see an equation or expression that can be simplified, it's probably best to do so. So I'm going to rewrite the original equation, 57x squared plus parentheses 57b plus a times x plus ab is equal to 0. The 57x squared cannot be simplified, so that comes down. This 57b plus a times x can be simplified by distributing the x across to each term. That becomes a 57bx plus ax, and then plus ab comes down and equals 0. So I have four terms. Anytime I have four terms with a quadratic, I like to think about factoring by grouping. Looks like I can do that. So if I group these two together and group these two together, I can factor them both separately. So the GCF in that first binomial would be 57x. What's left over in parentheses would be x plus b. Bring my plus sign down. The GCF in the second binomial will just be a, so I'll pull that out. What's left inside parentheses would also be x plus b. And that's a telltale sign that I'm doing it the right way, by the way. If I can factor by grouping and end up with the same thing in parentheses on both sides, that's a good sign that we're, in the, we're headed in the right direction. Also, what I can do here is I can group these two things, like the two factors can be grouped together into its own set of parentheses. So I have 57x plus a. And then what happens is I consolidate these two things into a single set of parentheses. x plus b equals 0. All right, so now I can um, set each of these binomials separately equal to 0. So I can have 57x plus a equals 0. And I can have x plus b equals 0. So let's solve these separately. So minus a minus a. 57x equals negative a, divide by 57. And I have, and let's write it up here for more space. x is equal to negative a over 57 is one of my solutions. And then here, subtract b from both sides. x equals negative b is another one of my solutions. So those are my two solutions here. Let's not forget, the question told us that the product of the solutions to the given equation is KAB. So I'm going to use that information. When I take the product of these two solutions, I get negative A over 57 times negative B. The question told me that that should be equal to KAB. Simplifying the left, negative times negative is positive, so this ends up being AB over 57 equals KAB. All right, so I'm close to my answer here. So let's just do some matching. Um, this AB is this AB. So that's taken care of. So all I have left to deal with is the K, which is good. In fact, I'll do it a little bit differently. I, I won't just reason that out. I'll, I'll actually use algebra to solve here. So AB over 57 equals KAB. The question wants me to solve for k, right? So how would I do that? I would, because I have a fraction on the left, I would actually multiply this by 1 over ab, because that allows me to cross out the ab's and leave me with just k on the right, so I'm solving for k. On the left, because I multiply by 1 over ab on the right, I'd also multiply by 1 over ab on the left. That immediately crosses out the ABs, leaving me with 1 over 57. So there's my answer. K is equal to 1 over 57. Therefore, answer choice A is correct.